every kilo matters. That's why it's so important in last time. Every kilo that your car is lighter is performance that you are winning. Waking uh, is such an important part of the performance of the car in lap time, acceleration, braking, cornering, that this is in the FIA rules since the very beginning. This is one of the most important uh, key performance parameters in motorsport. So the importance of every kilo, uh, of every gram, is paramount for lap time. Different technologies, different constructions, techniques may imply different uh, weights and the final outcome will be different. So, uh, waking is also a way of uh, equalizing things. Mass is uh, very important for acceleration, uh, deceleration, uh, cornering. So, uh, in Formula One circuits, we have uh, an influence that can go from two tenths and a half to four tenths, depending on the circuits, uh, per 10 kilos. So every kilo matters. That's why it's so important in lap time. Every kilo that your car is lighter is performance that you are winning. Everyone, basically everyone, at random times and at different times during the weekend, but no car passes an event without being weighed at least once or twice. I would say that the most critical one is uh, during qualifying and post-qualifying because that, that's when teams try to set the maximum weight and having the lightest car and obviously uh, during the race we weight the cars post-race. During a live session uh, the cars are weighed stopped randomly. Um, we take a total weight of the car and the driver, the car's then released back to the teams. Um, Sort of, it's done on a random basis, so you don't necessarily know if they're going to be stopped, um, which keeps everybody on their toes. And then after the end of the session, uh, the top 10 cars in qualifying are weighed. Um, we weigh the drivers first, and then the cars are weighed without the drivers. Two weights are added together to make sure that the minimum weight is, is uh, complied with. When we choose a car to be weighed during qualifying, for example, we have uh, some uh, panels, marshalling panels in the pit uh, lane entry uh, that will show the number of the car so that the driver knows that he needs to stop at the waking bridge. Then he will move aside to where the scales are positioned and he will stop there. And when the uh, hybrid system, the ERS, uh, is safe on the car, and we can check that with a green light on the car. The car is pushed onto the scales. We take the weight, and once the weight reading is stable, the car is released, pushed off the scales, and then the driver can go and continue his qualifying session. This is the scrutineering garage. Um, it's something we utilize during the qualifying session uh, with the drivers. Um, we have the outside scales where we do all of the car weighing and driver weighing. Um, but during qualifying, there's obviously three sessions to that, Q1, Q2, Q3. Uh, all of the Q1 and Q2 drivers are weighed in the garage using the driver scales. Um, and then that makes sure that we've got the driver weight and the car weight, we can car the cars that will stop randomly during the session. After Q1 and Q2, uh, the drivers, they drive their cars back to the garage, they get out of the car and they have to come straight down to the FIA garage um, where we get their weight, uh, you know, with their suit on, their helmet on, all of their sort of driving attire, as it, it all forms part of the driver weight. Every time we weigh a car or a driver, there's a receipt that is being handed to them. Well, they hand it over to their engineers and the engineers use that for keeping up their statistics and also to see if it's matching their own measurements. We have two main articles. The first one is the minimum weight, that in Formula One is uh, 800 kilos. 
And there is a second article that is probably less known, that is weight distribution. So there are minimum weights for both the front and rear axle, and that must be respected. For the drivers? Every driver for us weights 82 kilos. That means that uh, if we have a light driver or a heavy driver, there is no difference in performance. So every car is ballasted with his uh, driving equipment, the, all the apparel, uh, helmet, overall and so on. And his racing seat will add up to 82 kilos for fairness. So uh, the scales that we use for weighing, uh, they come from a manufacturer, they're calibrated by the manufacturer and serviced annually. Um, and trackside, we have what we call reference weights, um, which we, once the scales are set up, we'll use those reference weights to sort of validate the uh, calibration and make sure that we're seeing the weight we expect to see. <laughs> For example, uh, Belgium Grand Prix, uh, the Spa 2024, uh, George Russell uh, wins the race, and during the usual post-race waking, we find that the car was underweight. That's a big moment, because you realize that the guy who has won the race uh, suddenly is gonna lose that victory because they are not respecting the minimum weight uh, regulation. It's just stressful as everything in Formula One because uh, it's, uh, it's high uh, tension, it's, uh, uh, everything is uh, properly timed. Uh, for example, our waking process is something that is disrupting the qualifying. So we have to be absolutely spot on. So we need to make sure that the car is uh, on the scales uh, as quick as possible and the car is released as quick as possible. So it's, uh, obviously it's quite stressful. You've got, kind of got to have eyes everywhere. Um, one of the biggest challenges is we we're in a time pressured environment. You know, the, the race finishes and we need to kind of verify as much as possible. Um, you know, it, it can potentially affect the podium, potentially affect the race result. Um, and whilst we're trying to make sure we get the job done as quickly as possible for the sort of to verify the race result, um, we also need to make sure we also take our time and make sure the results are correct and, and accurate from a weighing perspective. When you are within the business, you understand the importance of uh, weight for lap time for performance. Out of the business, you would say, okay, having one kilo, two kilos, three kilos more is not that important. But when you see the influence that it may have on lap time, is when you understand how important it is that the cars are always as close as possible to the minimum weight, and also the, the weight distribution. You try to go optimal for tires, temperature, aero balance. So teams are always straight on the limit. And probably how close you can get to the limit is what is uh, not understandable or not as, as uh, well explained outside of the paddock.